Hey guys, and welcome to not really a spin pain, cause we're talking about some stuff today. Um, so I wanted to talk about art styles today because I get asked that question a lot. How do you get your art style? Um, how long have you had your art style? A lot of art style questions. And I thought I would answer, I wouldn't answer the big question today cause I feel like I didn't get an art style and we'll get into that but um, I'm also like probably the worst person to be talking about this right now because if you scroll through my Instagram or any of my art places you'll see I have a very inconsistent style I go from semi realistic to super cartoony to I don't even know how to describe it sometimes just it's whatever I'm in the mood it's whoever I'm into in the moment like sometimes I'm really into one artist and I start like taking things from their art and other times I'm just really into this show and I start taking things from the art in that show so I still have like some pointers for you about like art style in general because I feel like some people think there's like an instruction list of what to do to get an art style and there really isn't so the first thing I want to say is that like there is not a set of rules to having your own art style. Like it's not like you're going to follow this five steps and you're going to get your own art style. Um, it's just not like that. It's not that easy or it's not that hard depending on how you see it. Um, because I guess some people would rather have five steps to follow and get an art style like that. But it's just not how it works. Okay. So the second thing I want to say is that it will come to you naturally. Believe me, art style is just like going to be a part of you and like it's not always going to be consistent and it might not always be what you want it to be, but it will come naturally to you just when you draw, how you're drawing, that's your art style. Maybe you're imitating someone else, but like you're still adding things that make it your own art style does that make any sense i don't know but so from that i want to say that it's okay to copy from other artists like there's no such thing as you can't cop like there's no such thing as like you're stealing someone's art style i see that a lot especially nowadays there's no such thing as stealing someone's art style like all our style is based on other people art styles there's not such a thing as stealing art like believe me when i tell you that most artists you admire have gotten inspiration from other artists they admire when it comes to what their art looks like right now and as i said before it's ever changing and i'm pretty sure that if you look through old art from the artists you like you'll see how much they have evolved and then you might see things that remind you of other artists it's just like the natural progression of art these days i feel maybe i'm wrong um but it's totally okay to take like things from other artists you like and make it your own like for example i see eyelashes like how this artist does eyelashes i start making my art with eyelashes very similar to that artist i like and then i see another artist and i like how they draw lips so i start making lips like they do it and it just becomes your own thing you're just like taking things from different artists taking like little details you like or bigger details or basically you're just making it your own and it's totally okay if you see my own art style how it evolves it depends a lot like i said before on what i'm into at the moment and that's why it's ever changing and it's so inconsistent and i just can't keep an art style but that's okay um it's okay to always change it like don't feel like you need to draw the same all the time i have like a big pet peeve like i don't hate it but sometimes i see some other people's art and like all their faces look the same and i'm just here like i personally don't like that i like all my faces to look different like i want all my drawings to have different faces i like giving them unique little things maybe some of them have smaller lips some of them have bigger lips but it's just have, has been like a pet peeve 
I had like I just don't want all my drawings to look the same but if you want all your drawings to have the same face that's okay too like it's your work just do it however you want it don't let like other people tell you that you have a bar bad art style or that you're ripping off someone else or that all your faces look the same because if you like it that's what matters in my opinion once again I might be wrong also like always be trying new things and if it doesn't work then just stop like all the time i'm trying new things and then i'm like why did i do this this is the worst thing i've ever drawn and then just like scrap it and start a different drawing it's okay to try new things it's okay to explore it's okay to get out of your comfort zone but it's also okay to stay in it and just be happy with what you have but let me tell you something once you start like exploring and like picking up new techniques and trying them out you can really find ways to make art easier for you because i used to do a lot of things for example like since i was a traditional artist that transitioned into digital art i used to do a lot of digital art oops i just dropped my earphone i used to do a lot of digital art in the same technique as how i used to do traditional art and you can take so many shortcuts when it comes to digital art so it's always good to try new things and see if they work for you and like maybe you find a way to make things easier for you when you can make more art because you have more time now the next thing i wanted to talk about is inconsistency because i see a lot of people talking about how they have inconsistent art styles as if it's a bad thing and like guilty of that i always talk about my inconsistent art style as it's some as if it were something bad but it's really not it's not bad to have an inconsistent art style in fact it might actually be good if you're doing commissions because you might get like a wider range of clients if you have different art styles that you can like grab the the specifics like um i don't know the proportions you have on one maybe you you're you're like me you have like a more semi-realistic style and then a more cartoony style and then you'll get a client that wants something super semi-realistic or you'll get a completely different client who wants something more chibi so having like an inconsistent art style might help you there it might help you get more clients if that's something you want if you don't want it's also okay it's okay to not it's okay to have art just as a hobby. I feel like I'm all over the place and I'm sorry. I just, I'm not good at this. I ran too much, but if this helps one person, then that's enough, I guess. Um, the last thing I want to say is don't force it. I feel like you should, like, just don't force trying to make, like, this super unique, amazing, nobody has ever seen it before art style because... Not only is that almost impossible, but it's just not necessary. You're putting like some extra stress on you that you shouldn't have to. Like you don't have to have the most unique art style to shine and to have people notice your art. If you actually see, I, I see this a lot. I feel like there's a few art styles on Instagram. They all look very similar and it's what's popular in instagram right now and the same with twitter you see kind of like some art styles that are like all very similar and that's okay they shine in their own way it's not like they're copying each other's art style it's what's working for them on the moment it's what they like to draw is is there is their own art style which is like what we're talking about isn't it <laughs> um but yeah and also little note coloring is part of your art style the way you you draw shadows the way you draw light that's also part of your art style i feel like a lot of people don't talk about how um unique the way you color your work is the colors you use the palettes you're drawn to um how you highlight the hair how you highlight the face how you highlight the eyes i just said highlight three times what's wrong with me um but yeah you can also make your art yours by how you color it first thing i notice about art is the colors they use because i love color and i love experimenting with colors and using color palettes i usually am not comfortable with because i tend to stick to the same five colors 
is something I'm trying to break from and it's hard but you know there's really no limit to what your art style can be and I hope that's what you take from this video that there is no set of rules and just do whatever makes you feel best and if you don't like it then try something else the beauty of art is that you can just erase it and start over isn't it but yeah that's all i had to say today i hope this helped someone and that i did not ramble too much and confuse the hmm out of you because that's what i tend to do and that's why i probably shouldn't be doing this video because i'm just not good at it but if you have any questions feel free to ask me questions um i also stream on twitch i feel like i never mentioned this but i i stream on twitch i stream art mondays through friday sometimes not fridays friday sometimes i do makeup and then i play video game on weekends although my schedule is about to change because animal crossing is coming out or by the time this video is up and public for everyone animal crossing will already be out so my schedule will change but i do art and you can go and ask me questions there and show me your art i love when people show me their art I just it's one of my favorite things about streaming on Twitch and just being in social media in general seeing other people's art so yeah if you have any questions feel free to ask and also if you want to share your Instagrams or your Twitter links um, you can do that I don't care I as I said I love looking at other people's arts and I feel like it's really hard nowadays to find new artists because when you go to Instagram and you go to like the explore page you get like the same 10 artists over and over it, there's not a lot of variety and not, it's not that those 10 artists are not good it's that you know I want new people I want new artists in my life because I just artists are the best aren't they so feel free to do that and if you like this like the video and if you want to see more from me then subscribe I don't know what I'm gonna talk about next video so if you have any suggestions for that i also accept them but yeah thank you so much for watching and listening to me talk i'll see you next video bye